Hey there, 1P. We're going to continue to talk about polynomials today. Our goal is I can subtract two polynomials using the rules of collecting like terms. So another word for subtract is difference. Hopefully that's something you remember from elementary school. That's why it says the difference of two polynomials. That means we're subtracting. Um, so let's have a look. What have we got here? It says remember when you subtract integers the signs change. Uh, and that's important. Subtracting changes signs. So have a look. If I subtract negatives we've got two negatives side by side. Remember that changes to 5 plus 3. So this sign in here changed. And now here I've got a negative and a positive. Um, when I get rid of two signs that are different they are going to be negative. So there, I'm going to replace it with one negative sign or one minus sign. Um, so if you take a look at this thing in here, the thing we were we are subtracting actually has a different sign. So the sign you end up with is the opposite of what was in the bracket in the first place. So subtracting polynomials is similar to that and I've got two polynomials here. I've got this polynomial and remember what a polynomial it is. It's just an expression where an x takes the place of a number, a number that we do not know. Um, but we could sub in at any time we wanted to. So um, we're going to subtract these and we're going to do two different techniques. Uh, technique number one is actually the one that I prefer and if I were doing it it's the one that I would use. Um, but you may like the other one better. So technique number one is we're going to remove the brackets but remember to change the signs in the second bracket. So this bracket here, this one right here, oh, let's, uh, this bracket here is going to be affected by that negative sign out front. This is going to change signs. Anytime we have a negative in front of the brackets, if I want to take the brackets off, I got to change the signs. Change, change, that doesn't make any sense. Change signs. Okay, so when I remove the brackets, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to get 2x squared minus 5x plus 3. This bracket doesn't change because there's no negative in front of it. Uh, it's only negatives in front of brackets, and by in front I mean to the uh, left of the bracket. Um, it's only negatives in front of brackets that change it. So now when I take this off, I'm just going to write it down as, this is like minus positive 3. So the signs are different, so the sign I'm going to use is negative 3x squared. And then I'm subtracting this term as well, so it's like minus positive 2. Signs are different, negative, positive. So I'm going to get minus 2x. And here, minus negative 6. So I got minus negative 6. Those two signs are the same, two negatives, changed to a positive. So take a look. When I took those off, um, this bracket, this 3x squared term, it was positive up here. Now it's negative down here. This plus 2x was positive up here. It's now minus 2x when I took it out of the bracket. And this minus 6 that was up here is now a plus 6 when I took it out of the bracket. Okay, so now what do we do? Well, we collect like terms, the same as we did when we were adding. Uh, I got to try and find things. And normally I'm going to start with the biggest power of x, which in this case is an x squared. So I've got these two terms that have x squareds in them. And I've got two positive x squareds and three negative x squareds, which when I put them together, these two positive x squareds are going to cancel out two of the negative x squareds, and I'm only left with one negative x squared. And I don't have to write that one in there. If there's no one out in front, uh, if there's no number at all out in front, we understand it to be a one. And in this case, there's a negative there, so it's a negative one. Uh, now I've got negative 5x and negative 2x. There's no cancelling now. They've got the same signs. They like each other, so they're going to be negative 7x when I put them together. And then I've got a plus 3 and a plus 6. Again, they're the same signs, so there's no cancelling. If I put positive 3 with a positive 6, I just get a positive 9. So there, I've put that together. Now here's the second technique. The second technique involves lining the terms up vertically and subtracting, but you've got to be very, very careful. So we're going to line them up vertically. We're going to say 2x squared minus 5x 
plus 3. And we did some like this when we were adding them as well. Um, and I'm going to put them underneath each other. So I'm going to put the 3x squared underneath the x squared. And I'm going to put the 2x underneath the 5x. And I'm going to put the minus 6 underneath the 3 because it's a constant term. Now remember this time we're subtracting. And when you're subtracting, you've got to be careful with those double negatives. Um, so 2x squared minus 3x squared is going to give me negative x squared. If I'm at 2 and I go backwards 3 spaces, I get to negative 1. Okay, negative 5x subtract 2x. If I'm at negative 5 and I subtract 2, I get negative 7x. And then our last term, positive 3 subtract negative 6. Well, subtracting negatives, that's a good thing. So we're going to move forward on the number line. So we have 3 plus 6 is what we're going to do, and that's a plus 9. So you can see no matter which way you choose, you get the same answer. Let's look at a few other problems. Example number one, I'm going to do this with technique number one. I'm going to remove the brackets. Now this has no negative sign in front of it. No negative sign in front of it means I can just pull the brackets off. Negative 2x minus 3. This one has a negative sign in front of it. So when I pull this bracket off, I have to change this term to a negative and this term to a positive. Or, sorry, it is a positive, so I have to change it to a negative as well. Now, we don't put double signs in, so this negative kind of goes away. It changes these two signs, and then it just sort of goes away. Um, it doesn't go away entirely, because what this is is subtracting negative or subtracting positive 5. And when su I subtract positives, I replace it with a single negative. So that's where it goes, minus 5x. Uh, and this one is going to get changed to a negative, so minus 4. And now when we put them together, collecting like terms, I've got a negative 2x and a negative 5x. When I put two negatives with five negatives, I just get seven negatives. There's no canceling, no changing signs or anything else. And this one here, I have a negative 3 and a negative 4, which is negative 7 as well. So I've got negative 7x subtract 7. This one here, I'm going to line up um, vertically. So I'm going to write this as negative 2x squared plus 6x minus 3, and then I'm going to write this one underneath it, 7x squared minus 5x plus 3, and we're going to subtract the two of them. Now be very, very careful with your signs. Negative 2 subtract 7. And remember, as long as we've got these lined up so that the terms are like, we can just pay, pay attention to the um, to the numbers out front, and this term is going to be x squared, and this term is going to be x, and this is going to be the constant term. So negative 2 subtract 7 is negative 9. 6 subtract negative 5. Now I got that double negative there, 2 negative switch to a positive, so it's really 6 plus 5, so that's plus 11x. And then negative 3 subtract positive 3, which is just negative 3 subtract 3 is going to be negative 6. Okay, what's the next thing say? It says when two polynomials are subtracted, the answer is 3x squared plus 6x minus 8. So that's our answer. 3x squared plus 6x minus 8. So I have to subtract two polynomials. So I have some, some x squareds. I can put a couple of x squareds down. And when I subtract them, I got to get to 3. So let's pick two numbers that subtract to 3. How about 10x squared and 7x squared? Now those aren't the only two numbers that work, um, but those ones um, do work, and this just says what might the polynomials have been. So now here I get to have two terms that subtract to 6. So uh, I'm going to do something tricky here, and I'm going to say negative 3x and now I have to subtract to get to 6, which means I need to go up. So I need another negative, and I need 3 to get to 0, and then another 6 to get up to 6. So I need 9 altogether. So negative 3 subtract negative 9 is negative 3 plus 9, which will give us to 6. And then I need two things that subtract to negative 8. Well, maybe 1 is just negative 8. 
and then there's nothing on the end here. It could be a zero. Plus zero, minus zero, however you want to look at it. It's not there. And so those two polynomials could have been uh, 10x squared minus 3x minus 8 subtract 7x squared minus 9x. Those two things, if I subtract them, would come out to be that. And that looks like that's the end of our video.